Good afternoon, Buffalo Bills fans. It's Saturday and the day before the game of the home opener. And I'm thinking naturally what Buffalo's got to do to win this game. And uh, we got to start fast. We, we got to start fast, of course, and we got to make sure that we come out of the gate. And I really feel like, in a sense, if Buffalo gets ahead early, I don't see that Cincinnati's the type of team that could come back from, from that, you know. So, um, with our defense and all being as good as it is. Excuse me for a second, just grabbing a coffee and some stuff. Uh, uh, yeah, can I please have a large dark roast double-double? Can I also have ten plain Timbits for the dog? Yep. Thank you. So... If they if if we get ahead quick, I don't see Cincinnati um, coming back. I don't think that they're they're built like that, especially with our defense the way that they are. So, you know, Andy Dalton is definitely a viable starter in the league, but that means nothing. And uh, it's going to take a lot for Cincinnati to to beat us. That's just. The, the scenario that's going on here. Yeah, trap games. I mean, is there really a trap game? I, I don't, I, you know, an NFL team is an NFL team, and I've said that before as well. You know, I mean, you're, you're playing football every, any given Sunday. And that being said, you know, Cincinnati could come out and do something. But I, I was worried about last week, and, you know, I made that known. And I'm worried about this week a little bit, but less worried because we're at home. I mean, it makes a big, big, big difference when you could be, be at home you know, and have our home opener and be 2-0 at that. So, I mean, I feel really good about the game. No single, Terry. You know, <coughs> it definitely matters. There's no doubt about it that it matters. But I consider single, Terry, to begin with, a bonus. The fact that he was good. Now, getting rid of LaShawn McCoy, did they know that he was good and they plan on utilizing him a lot? Well, yeah, I'm sure they did. I'm sure they did try to ease him in. And it's, it's proof that they tried to ease him in there, you know. But... Still got to consider him a bonus, you know. And without him, I think TJ Yeldon steps in there. We've talked about that. We've covered that. Thank you. And, uh, and Frank Gore has been looking pretty good, to be honest. So I'm not I'm not really too worried about that. And not to mention... Oh, thank you. You too. And we have Josh Allen. I'm not worried. You know, man, does it feel good to have our franchise quarterback... And that defense, nothing compliments a young second-year quarterback than a dominant defense, and I'm very excited about that. So, um, I think the Bills are going to be they're, they're going to put on more of a show this this week. And I and I've said it before that I think you know Allen was going to throw 300 yards the last couple games. I think last week was the first time I thought he was. And again, this week, I think he's going to. I want to see him get to that 300 mark. I know if he's capable of doing it. Will we need to get there? Yeah. I mean, I don't think Buffalo takes the gas, the foot off the gas, um, you know, all game pretty much, unless we're just that far ahead. But I think Allen's going to, I think you're going to see him throwing the, tossing the ball around a lot, especially with Devin Singletary out, you know, it, you know, maybe they don't run as much or maybe they run more. Who knows? But, uh, Everybody's gearing up to get to New Era Field. The Buffalo Bills um, are home, and man, that's a good feeling to have. I can't wait for the game to happen, and I'm looking forward to it. And everybody that is going, be careful and be safe as usual with all the new tailgate rules and all that. So just gotta make sure we stay safe. 